Coming up into today's video, guys, you're going to take a look at five new products that not everybody's had a chance to see yet, developed specifically for the lawn care community by a professional in the lawn care industry. You haven't even released yet. Coming you want out. to see the seat? I want to see the prototype. This is a prototype, but this is... Uh... This is exactly how it would come out with one exception. Uh, we used to break a lot of windows as well. We used to spray rocks and they'd, we'd be breaking glass. Um, so you have the ability to shut down your discharge at any time. That X-Blade system seriously is one of my favorites, but we'll save it for later. You guys yeah, just got to stick around. Just a minute. The X-Blades are awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. But yeah, so Stan's super excited about these because these things are an absolute game changer. So um, I've got one last question for you, Corey. Is there any discounts you can give these guys? Any kind of specials? Would you be interested in doing that? Yeah, absolutely. You want to come up with a code? call it dirt monkey all right code is going to be dirt monkey you guys know how to spell it dirt monkey if you type that in on our website the last page at checkout is going to take 10 percent off everything that you order so it'll take 10 percent off all 100 products on the website coupon code dirt monkey got me on the spot there i like it <laughs> hey guys we're off to a new adventure today we're actually down in iowa and we're going to be going into Ballard products. We're going to meet up with Corey. And this guy has invented a lot of new products. He also sells other people's stuff, which is actually pretty cool. But we're going to be looking at four products that he's actually personally invented and checking out some other stuff while we're here. So let's go see what's going on inside. Hi, guys. Oh, this is Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Check this out. Check out this table, you guys. Look at that. Is that sick? That's a 79 Chevy. Is that a 79 Chevy, Corey? 79 Chevy. It's the first truck I ever had. I love it. Dude, that was the first truck I ever had, too. Yeah. You know, I drove that. That was. I was 14 years old. My dad forced me to drive. He's like, we got work to do. You're going to go drive. And I'm like, all right, dad. So, <laughs> so you're a fan, too. Yeah, I am. I love it. Took me a while to have a guy build it, but it's an awesome, awesome desk. It's a lot of attention. So how are you doing, bud? Good, man. G good seeing you. What are we going to be looking at today? Okay, so we're going to have uh, like five different products we're going to show you guys today. Um, some are new, some have been out for a while, but we think they're just awesome products for the lawn care landscape guys that are out there uh, working every day in the field. So, All right, guys, I'm going to jump in here because the backstory of this guy is kind of fascinating. He actually started his own lawn care company with a four-wheeler and a push mower, and built it up and I think he's got almost 200 guys and does over $20 million a year in property maintenance. And everything that you're gonna see today, he actually built for his own crews and then decided to start to sell to whoever wanted to have it. First product here, we've got the Catch Pro. So this is an all aluminum 4.1 cubic foot uh, bagger. Um, one of the things that's really cool about our bagger, I know you, there's some other brands out there that are aluminum. Uh, this comes in panels, so if you damage it, you have the ability to replace just the panel. You don't okay. have to replace the entire thing. You don't have to throw a $500 bagger away. Um, one of the other really cool features is the, um, you've got the foil here, so this is an airfoil, and this inside is solid. So, as you guys know, when you're out bagging, a lot of that dirt and dust is coming up, hitting you in it's the not, face. It's not blowing back and hitting yeah, you Yeah, so it, not only is it not going on your machine. So this kind of directs it, it away. It directs it away, and then this is solid on the inside, so it's not coming up into your face. No, did you actually develop this product? Uh, uh, a guy in Australia had these out, and uh, I reached out to him, and we, uh, we brought it to the U.S. and have it manufactured for us uh, specifically in the U.S. now. So it just got to the U.S. last month. Uh, we've been selling a lot of them. Guys absolutely love them. Um, one of the other cool things is we've got nine different mower brackets. So any commercial mower, 36 inches and up, we've got nine different brackets so we can accommodate all the brands. Um, we've got the stainless steel mouth. It's got a uh, protector on the back corner there, just a little protector in case you hit the ground. So that mount, you actually have another mount that you can actually hook it up to a trailer and have, the, have it ride just like this, right? Yeah, so every single Catch Pro that we sell comes with the right mower mount. And then it comes with the trailer mount. So what happens is a lot of the damage happens on these things, as you guys probably know, in transport. They slide around on your trailer. They th you throw them in the back of the truck. So we provide this mount right here. So wherever you find it fit on your truck, trailer, you mount that bracket. You can lock it in place. You can also very easily put a padlock right through there. 
lock it so your bagger doesn't get stolen. So we think that's a really cool feature. No other brand has a trailer mount that comes with it. That is cool. I don't, I don't care who you are. That is cool. We really like that. And a lot of guys find value in that. And the other thing that we're going to show you guys is the advanced chute system. Um, Personally, I'm always fascinated with how people run their operation, especially how they build it from nothing into something massive. They find that story almost as interesting as looking at brand new tools and innovation. So we're going to take a peek at a few of his operations throughout this video. And one of them is coming up right now. So do you run a few wideouts, Corey? Yeah, so <laughs> our managers, those are mainly site management trucks. So each site that we site has one site manager on it. He has a plow and a salter so he can help kind of make sure if there's something in the ditch. He can clean it up if he needs to. If he needs to salt, he can. So um, we don't do a lot of plows anymore. Most of our stuff is large equipment, skid loaders, end loaders, pushers, but we do have trucks. So these are just your site manager's trucks? So yeah, each one of these will go to a specific site, a uh, large trucking company or a hospital or something like that, and, and this person would be responsible for uh, you know kind of making sure that everything's going as planned but at one point they didn't have the, you know they didn't have a blade and they didn't have a salter and they were kind of limited if they needed to touch something up or clean up an edge or maybe a car moved now let's get back to the tools that's the reason you guys originally tuned in in the first place so tell me about the advanced shoot system i know i cut you off yeah I'm that's okay that. so the advanced shoot system is an all steel um block system for your mowers so what's cool also the catch pro works with the advanced shoot so guys that like to use the advanced shoot as well as a bagger at times can use both um, it allows you to shut down your discharge here so um, a lot of guys uh, understand that uh, you know when we're around beds cars houses people we're blowing grass into mulch into rock creates a lot of cleanup uh, we used to break a lot of windows as well we used to spray rocks and they'd, we'd be breaking glass um, so you have the ability to shut down your discharge at any time these holes here are actually pretty crucial. It allows airflow so it doesn't drop the- I was just gonna say, those holes, for guys that don't know, you've still gotta get that airflow going out the side. Yep. And what that does is that brings the grass back up in to help it pulverize. But will you flip that open yep. real quick, Corey? I wanna show these guys something. Do you have the X blades? I do have system? the X blades on here, so you gotta- This is, this is one of my favorites. That X blade system, Seriously is one of my favorites, but we'll save it for later. You guys yeah, just got to stick around. Just a minute. The X blades are awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. But yeah, so the, you know there are some other versions of different blade blockers out there or shoot blockers, but this thing's all steel. It's going to last. It's built right. Um, these things are built like a tank, and they're going to work on any um, zero turn, stand on, walk behind, 48 inches and up. All the different brands. So when you when you order from us, you put your mower information in. We know exactly what kit you need. And then, like I said, the really cool thing for you guys that bag and also want to have the both options, most other baggers and any sort of um, aftermarket blocker, you, it's one or the other. And you have to unbolt it and you're, you're messing with all that. So, uh, so now you have something that you haven't even released yet. You want, to, you want to see the seat? I want to see the prototype. This is a prototype, but this is... Uh, this is exactly how it'll come out with one exception. There'll be two pins down here. So uh, we just put these on the website. They've been selling. I'll be shipping them this week. Uh, it's called the sit-on. So for you guys that understand how popular the stand-on machines are, um, what's really cool about this is, um, I'll jump on here and show you in just a second, but uh, you've got the ability, you've got the quick release here, so you'll be able to pull the pins and remove it in just a second. You can pull this pin. This adjusts up and down for guys of all different heights. You've also got a pivot here, so you can pivot the seat the way you need to. This is a four inch thick seat. So um, what, what happens is, again, stand-ons, super popular. They're compact, they're lighter weight, they're cost effective, they're good on hills, good around buildings. So when you guys are mowing like normal, you're just, you're gonna be running your standard like a standard. Uh, for you guys that do bigger sites, you've now got the ability to just take a seat right here. So you've got kind of the best of both worlds. You've got everything you love about your stand-on, and you've got a seat. And can this fit on just the X mark or will this every go on brand. every brand? Because it's just a bolt through the platform, right? Yeah, so right? every brand, I had it on the Skag standard over there. Um, John Deere has a middle piece, sorry about this little John Deere. We have a bracket that just hovers this. So on our website, it asks you if you have, it, you have two options, the standard or a John Deere. It comes with a bracket just to hover that little raised area there. So um, yeah, this sit-on is super cool, guys. It's uh, 
it's really comfortable. I think a lot of guys ask and say it's going to be rough. As you guys know, all standers have flex in their platform. Yep. So when you're on this thing, super comfortable. Hit it hard once, Corey. Hit it hard. So you guys, you're not going to be wheeling back or flipping back unless no. you're like... A so I wanted to find out how he actually develops his products and that kind of snowballed into a tour of how they do all of the maintenance to keep all of their crews running. So let's check that out right now. So this is where you keep the smaller trucks? Where do you yeah. work on your heavier? Uh, down the street we've got some stuff there or if it's much bigger we'll outsource the big stuff. Uh, mainly pack, you know, passion truck, the type of things we can do in here with our lift, we've got an overhead. Where, so where do you develop your products that you actually sell? Where, where um, depends. Sometimes uh, we use my brother's garage. He's got, a, well, he's got a fab garage. He builds custom duck boats. So we go over there and we fab stuff up over there. I don't get to use this because they don't like me making a mess in here. Uh, something that's kind of cool, we've got an office up there for the kind of the shop manager. Um, something kind of cool that you'll probably like is over here, um, every single day when they get in, they can see exactly who it's assigned to, what needs to be fixed, what's wrong with it. Um, whether it's a priority or not, usually it's checked. Um, if, we, if we've taken it to another uh, third party where it's located, um, what site it belongs to when we take it back. So we really, instead of just getting in and saying, well, I don't know what to do today, that really helps us. Um, we've got four mechanics in here daily, so that keeps them kind of together on, on what needs to happen. So you've got, you created this jack system for yeah, the maintenance so, on the mowers? Yep, so the there super jack has been out 16 years and a lot of guys don't realize that it's been out. So we've got a super jack available in the high-vis yellow and the high-vis orange. Um, with this, we got solid tires. Um, I don't have this one tight because I just wanted to show you. You can put the arms wide or narrow. So this one's narrowed up a little bit for some of the guys that have smaller mowers want to get in between the front casters. Um, this one's on the wide spot. Once that's underneath your mower, you've got 24 inches of clearance. It's, this thing's heavy duty, guys. This has been out 16 years. Solid tires, as I told you. The mower's not going anywhere. So guys are a little worried about safety. Um, it's simple to get up and down with that. You can lift heavy mowers. That's a big mower. It really is, uh, it's not heavy, and guys also ask about letting them down. You're gonna slam it to the concrete. Really simple. There's a foot pedal right here. Doesn't do any damage to your deck. It allows you to get underneath there, change blades, scrape under the deck, service your mower. Um, it lifts from the front only. So again, that works on zero turns, standers, walk behinds, every brand except for some of the new Ferris. Just wanna throw that out there. The new Ferris has got kind of a weird baffle underneath it. Okay, and we've got one last one, but if these guys are interested, they can find all of this stuff at Ballard Inc. Ballard-Inc.com. Inc.com. Yeah, so we've got about 100 different products, um, trailer racks, mower gear, safety gear, um, all kinds of different things that hopefully make you safer, more efficient, effective. The X-Blades. X-Blades, these the are my favorite. I moved them over here. I'm going to bring the package over. So guys, we launched the X-Blades. Um, we tested them. We launched them about two years ago. Um, Stan's super excited about these because these things are an absolute game changer. So what it does is it allows you to um, double up your blades. So we sell the bracket. We don't sell the blades. We sell the bracket. So what it allows you to do is at a perfect 90, you're able to double up your blades underneath your mower. So we recommend a, a standard on bottom and a mulching blade on top. I don't have, I have that set up right here for the X mark. but. That's the ideal setup. Actually, I have this one backwards. Yeah, I'm going to say your best backwards. So what happens is, let's, let's talk about the balance and uh, wear on spindles and things like yeah, that. Yeah, so that's it. probably one of the number one questions guys ask is, is it hard on my mower? Um, we haven't seen any adverse effects on mowers. We do recommend that you lower your RPMs a little bit when you engage the clutch just because you've, uh, you're, you're going to get twice as much weight turning. Mm -hmm. um, but the benefits just overwhelmingly you know outweigh it you're you're not double cutting uh i imagine you're basically at this point pulverizing the grass absolutely. because with this so with this setup and correct me if i'm wrong and you guys in the videos in comments correct me if i'm wrong you got your main blade to cut and that's typically what you'll usually have yep. but now you've got a second blade and if you use a mulching blade like this what it's doing is it's kicking the grass up into the mower deck so it's keeping it elevated more and for that grass to come back down it's got to go through two sets 
of blades, not just one. So springtime, heavy wet seasons, if you haven't been able to mow for a while and you go out for that first cut, you know how you guys got to double mow, sometimes triple mow? With this, I'm gonna guess you can alleviate some of that. I don't know yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So or, or... you're exactly spot on. You're less double mowing, smaller clippings. Um, actually, you guys are getting a lot better striping because also they're having smaller clippings, so they're getting a cleaner look and they've got more suction underneath there, so you're laying that grass a little bit more. Um, the cool thing is we've got these for about every mower, if you want me to go over sizes. Balance. Yeah, I mean, How so. about the balance? Because now you're doubling up. Yeah. How does it actually balance underneath the mower deck? Because that's a huge thing. Absolutely, so it holds it at a perfect 90, so it's actually more balanced than a, than a standard blade. So again, uh, we haven't seen any adverse effects on well-maintained machines. In four years. Four years, and they've got... You've been testing it and using it for four years. We've been testing it for two before we sold it. Um, they've been out. Um, we sell a lot of these guys. If you follow us on any social media, you'll see guys putting tons of pictures up. They just absolutely love the results. Um, we sell a lot of these, um, and it's just... We run them on all of our own mowers. Every mower here has the X-Blades on it. All of our fleet has the X-Blades. Um, how many mowers do you run? I don't know how many units we have, but we have 20-plus mowing crews total, so... Um, We've run a lot of mowers. Okay. Yeah, so been doing it. we've been doing this for a while. Um, we have the standard kit. One of the number one questions I get with this, does it fit my mower? Um, you have to know your, weight, your blade width and your center hole. So probably 70% of the mowers out there run are two and a half inch wide with the 5.8 center hole. Skag, Hustler, Wright, Ferris, um, Gravely. Um, there's a bunch of them. Then we have the X. Can they, can they go to your website? Yeah, and, and it get says. Yeah. So it, it'll say it right yeah. there. So um, I've got one last question for you, Corey. Is there any discounts you can give these guys? Any kind of specials? Would you be interested in doing that? Yeah, absolutely. You want to, we come up with a code? Call it Dirt Monkey. All right, code is going to be Dirt Monkey. You guys know how to spell it. Dirt Monkey. If you type that in on our website, the last page of checkout is going to take 10% off everything that you order. So it'll take 10% off all 100 products on the website. Coupon code DIRTMONKEY. Got me on the spot there. I like it. <laughs> I'm looking out for you guys. Um, actually, that wasn't going to be my last question. I was just like, I wonder if I can get a coupon out of this guy. Um, over here, this trailer, what I'd like to do next is if you guys are interested in seeing a video on the, I call this, I looked at this and I call this the ultimate lawn care trailer setup. And um, what I'd like to do is do a second video with you, Corey, because you've got 15, 20 lawn care trailers that you have set up both open and enclosed. Yep. And what I'd like to do is I would like to do a walk around of an either an open or a closed trailer or possibly both. Show these guys how you've got them set up. Mm -hmm. Help these guys get some ideas in their own head how they could set up their own. So if you guys want to see that, say, show me the lawn care trailer video. Put it in the comments down below and I'll come down to Iowa. And I'm honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I grew up in Southern Minnesota and we used to come down here looking for the good old corn fed Iowa girls. And I haven't seen any. <laughs> well, you, you haven't been to it. We can take you to Casey's across the street. <laughs> Actually, that is the truth. I grew up just north of here about 50 miles and we would come down here. So that's our video for today. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. We will catch you guys next time. Big thanks goes out to Corey for letting me yeah, come down Yeah, I appreciate here. you coming down. Uh, just real everything. quick, guys, if you need to find us again, ballard-inc.com, and we certainly appreciate the support. YouTube? Uh, we have a YouTube channel. We're on Instagram with a couple channels, and we're on Facebook as well. So What are they, though? Um, ballard Innovative Products on Instagram and Ballard Products. Unfortunately, we have two channels there. Um, our YouTube is just Ballard Products. Okay. Um, if you type it in, you'll find us pretty quick. We try to do content on there with products, and we also try to give you guys some tips on how to run your business Perfect. and uh, you know ways to get contracts and what you should be working on in the winter and try to give you guys a, a mix of both showing you how products work in the field and how to run your business. And you're also starting a podcast. Yeah, we've got a podcast going called The Green Grind. Uh, we have some, uh, we've had some great guests on. We're going to get you to do that this afternoon here. And uh, uh, we had Blake on last week. We had Chant on from uh, Chant's Daily Hustle. And uh, we're trying to get some guys in that are inspirational, motivational, tell their story, and, and try to inspire others. So Perfect. And we'll get more of Corey's story as well. I mean, he has, what you, you ran, what, $20 million? 
We do a lot. <laughs> you do a lot. They, he's got a really big landscaping company, and that's a really cool story. And we'll, we'll do that on another video. God bless you guys. Go get them. And remember, landscaped equipment trailer video if you want to see it. See you next time. I'm going to pop up a couple videos right here. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate it, bud. Thanks, buddy. That was painless. <laughs> it's not over yet. I'm still recording. Oh. <laughs>